All right, everybody, I'm in Mentor on my Atlas Cinema 16. The reason for that is I just picked up, up Jim, and a uh, couple, two, three weeks ago, him and Shiloh, they went to uh, right around the corner here, picked up some goldfish. Goldfish, yep. And they took it all far. I showed you guys. In fact, Shiloh's getting the one with the mustache. She already got him. Oh, she got him. Yeah, all right. Mustache, yo. <laughs> So uh, that same lady still had a couple more goldfish and some plecos, plecos in a 75. And why is she giving the rest up? She's worried they're gonna get too big. So oh, okay. Get rid of them. So she's we're gonna go. Ones. Okay, so we're gonna go buy. We got a couple buckets, and we're gonna shoot over there and go get them and get them to oil fire. All so right. stay tuned. Right. We're at our destination. Jim believes her name is Pamela. Yeah, uh, yep. So we're going to go and see if she allows us to film. We'll film it real quick. Shouldn't be long and be on our merry way. This is Reaper. Hello. Are we uh, allowed to record? Yes. All righty. It's a little cloudy. Oh, it was fine. crystal clear, but it's then fine. the fishies are <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> Okay, and you're Pamela? Yes. Alrighty. Okay, nice tank. There's two big black ones in there, and then the two smaller goldfish, and then there's four plecos. I don't know what these people were thinking of. You know, I, cl I did a 25% water change, and then I'm like, where'd the third pleco or fourth pleco come from? <laughs> 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 Oh, what's up, kitty kitty? But I would like to just keep one in there because they get extremely large. You smell my kitty? You know, and even at keeping one, eventually, <laughs> it might get too big. Oh, yeah, I've seen them over two feet long. I went to this fish store the other day in Willoughby. What's that? They had one, like, that long, and I'm like, yeah. the head on that sucker was like this. The tacos, how big they get. Oh, yeah. The, uh, which one do we have? The, uh, the Adonis. The Adonis. What, 30... 36 inches or yeah. something? Yeah, take the food off the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we'll take out a few decorations and make it easier. Oh, so absolutely. how many plecos are we taking then? Three. 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 Hopefully okay. the three largest ones. There's a kind of a small one in there that I didn't know we had. It looks like there okay. could be a couple of them hiding right in here if yeah, you're, if you're good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, just pull you know right what? Out. I got the other small net. Let me get that. We can block both ends and pull it right out. And then I see the other one in the back. So... Might get out the hole right there, Would you though. Would guys be interested in a little bit of goldfish food I've left? Sure. I'll take <laughs> Absolutely. <it. laughs> Absolutely. We'll put it to good use. We always do. I have all different kinds of food for these guys. But... So you want to keep <laughs> the two big black ones? No, we're actually going to have you take those two because I didn't realize that that's another reason why all the waste is being in there. Okay. So we're... So we're taking these two and the two black ones, the two gold, the two copper are, ones. Yeah, those these ones. These guys right here. Okay. Sorry, I don't know much about tanks. I bought this off somebody, and it came. That's fine. Loaded. And oh, I was like, everything was in here already when you got it, then. Everything except for the small neons, because we got the de decorations to kind of brighten the tank up a little bit, right. so we put bright fish in there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. We got our little black tetra, <laughs> a couple friends. You're friendly. Moments. Uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> absolutely. They do better in groups. Absolutely. All right. Well, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get the tops off. We'll move some of the decoration. Yeah. It's a slight smoother. Right? Yeah, you might not even have to, really. Yeah. Dude. You right. Know, right. But, uh, yeah, this one you might be able to pick up and get them out, there but he might swim really out. There is a big Because there is a hole in the bottom as well. <laughs> so... Some water, water inside the buckets first. I need to turn the filters off. It's gonna go down low, lower than what they need to be. No. Oh no no. Okay. Your intake's way down here. Yeah, your fill your system's See way that? down there. Right okay. there. That's that I didn't know about the water heaters. No, no. Yeah, no, no you'll be fine. Okay. All right. Oh, nice uh, assortment. 
Yeah, and the tea yeah, it's like right there. Plants, all those fake plants are coming out and real plants are going in. That's the best thing. Mm -hmm. You'll do less and less water uh, changes as you start getting real plants in there. Those live plants will help keep that ammonia too. Yep. I got keep a the four pack of starter plants and then I got some moss <laughs> balls. Because I heard they're good at soaking up the nitrates from the fish waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. That's gonna happen anytime you you know mess with your tank. But if you do like plants, you wanna look into getting some substrate. There you got them, dude. So they can't grow in the rocks. Uh, I, some can, but that's some not can. a lot right there. You would need at least that many rocks as you okay. know substrate. You know, um, I mean. I didn't have, rock, I mean, all I had was that much rocks when I started, but now I'm doing what I did. I moved the rocks over, put some substrate, put the rocks back on, did the same thing on that side, and, and you know, yeah, your tank's going to get messy and whatever, but you're, you clean your filters, and it'll get clean again, but once you do that and you put the plants in, oh, you got them, Jim. <laughs> so how many plecos? You got two plecos? Two plecos. And you already got the two big gold, uh, black goldfish. They are beautiful. But they, they are. are messy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I would like my they tank are. to stay cleaner longer. Gold, goldfish are very dirty. You got to clean the tank a lot with them. See, a lot I, of times, goldfish don't really like the heaters anyway. Mm -hmm. They like cold water. Cold water. Yeah, and the guys I have in there need heat. The, uh, the tetras and stuff, yeah. No, uh, what is it? A peacock? The chillers I have in there, or whatever, however you say that. There's peacock bass. You got them, Jim? Okay. So that's, that's three plecos. Right, you just have the. And I have this copper guy to get here. Right, I see him in the back. Yeah, we had a lot of decorations. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. <laughs> They're good hiders. Mm hmm. It's all right. Jim's even better. <laughs> one more of them in there? Or? We There's wanted to keep two. one. I want to find him and I want to make sure we're getting the... You're, get, you're keeping the smallest here. one. Yeah, he's in there. And I don't know how big that one is. His tail looks pretty nice. Well, those are... Um... Oh, okay. Oh, I see. He might be the smallest one. Yeah, I, I he did look pretty small. The other ones are, are chunky. Yeah. Definitely chunky. Yeah, they are. He's a lot bigger. Uh-huh. He's a lot bigger. He's a lot bigger. Yeah. Okay. So it just gives him more time to grow. For sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And by know. less feeding, this and that, they won't grow as fast. You know, they'll grow steadily. But they, plecos <laughs> don't grow super fast. It'll take them a while to get big. And anything, you know, again, that gets too big for your tank. I mean, aren't those parrotfish? Yes, or, that's what yeah. I was talking about. You know, eventually, parrot, they they're, they're going to get good size, too. You know, when fish get too big for the littler fish, you just call us, and we can rehome them. Right. Wow. And, they can get big too. And uh, yeah, they can get pretty good size. Guys? No. The, no, no. Those, oh, the Grammy? With yeah, the Grammy? He can get a little bit size to him, but no, yeah. he's not like a big Grammy. Big right. Grammys get huge. But we actually, don't we have some uh, in the uh, mm -hmm. community? Parrot, I have parrots in my silver dollar tank at home, and they're not much bigger than that. Right. So they grow pretty slow. Okay. Mm hmm. Because they're so cute. And yeah, like you're fine oh, yeah. right now. You are perfectly yeah. fine right now. You are, you are no good problem. to go. Yeah. If everyone's getting along good and they're all, they all look healthy, I think you're good to go right now. And they were pretty much, so. Yeah, they all, yeah. Oh, they all do get along. I mean, they're just chill. <laughs> right. Yeah. You, you just got a little redecorating to do now. <laughs> yeah. <it's okay. laughs> hey, it happens. That's the joy of the hobby, I think. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And what's your kitty's name? That one is Pumpkin. Pumpkin. And then behind oh. you is Lucifer. Oh, Lucifer. We have three more running around here somewhere. They have Lucifer. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Did you say last time you were Oh, you are friendly, aren't you? For a dog or a puppy? Oh. 
Last time I was here, you said you were looking to find a home for a puppy yeah. or a dog. Yeah, we found Good the you. Mastiff Rescue to take her. You smell bucket, don't you? And she's already We're home. Barnaby, huh? Yeah. She replaced Bath. She was just getting too aggressive <laughs> with our other dogs. Not the cats, just the dogs? Just the dogs. Yeah, pumpkin. Yeah. Like, our German Shepherd was trying to play in his pool, and she grabbed him by the neck and ripped him out of the pool. <laughs> and he no. was like, he was just like, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, that's not good because she was only eight months old. Oh wow! You yeah. know, and then yeah. like our landlord was like, well, she's too big of a breed, and I'm like, not really. Like they're apartment dogs, mastiffs. I thought. <laughs> yeah, some little corridoras in there too. Mm-hmm. Nice variety, actually. So. All right, we're going to get these guys back to OFR and get them into the quarantine system. All righty, made it back to OFR. Fish are doing just fine. I didn't even put air. It was like 40-minute drive, so I'll get these in to uh, Jerry, and we'll get these guys acclimated. All right, so I brought Jerry some fish. These are the two black goldfish. Yeah, you might want to turn your light on so you can get a... Those are the two goldfish from oh, Dark Oh, those are a one. nice little black ones. Uh-huh. Fish. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. And then in here, three plecos and just uh, two standard goldfish, I think. Oh, we might have something else in there, but I think it's just two. Now, those are more as also. They've just been kept uh, uh, as a different... Yeah. They all come from the same tank? Yeah. Yeah, they all came from the same tank. They were in a 75 gallon tank and it was fully stocked with these fish when she bought it. Yeah. And, but it had a lot of tetras in there and this and that as well. And she bought some other fish and she's like, these, you know, overtaking the tank and, yeah. you know, I mean, so she, that's why she gave us all the, the koi and those goldfish before. Wow, does she still, do we have any of those still? Yeah, they're still here. Okay, in fact, so these were the ones that, uh... That was nice, Corey, but nobody's been asking. All right. There's but not they, a whole lot left, though, huh? Uh, in another month, everybody will be wanting goldfish and koi for their ponds. All right. I got enough to stock them well, too. Awesome. So, uh... The morals uh, will probably go to somebody's stand. Yeah, those are nice fish. They're, they should go quick. They're pretty. Yeah, I'm going to put them all in this. This is completely empty right now. Ah, I just okay. did a water change on it. That oh, way well. I'm not adding anybody. Everybody else is pretty much ready to go home with somebody. Right. There's only a couple. Uh, the red tails aren't completely quarantined yet. Neither is the glow light down there. But everybody else is pretty much ready to go home with somebody. All right. And this is uh, this is what we got left for like small community fishing. There ain't much left either. No. Mostly live barrels. All right. What are the striped ones? Some sort of tetra. What's that? Those ones in the backs. Oh yeah. Some black skirt tetras. Yeah, that's what I thought. The grommy. I thought some of you took, I thought Jen wanted the grommy. I don't know, didn't he take that last little boat? Oh, crap, he just connected the other And there's still one little glowfish, huh? Yeah, one little glowfish. And then a couple of those uh, platies, it looks like? Yeah, platies. Might be sore Yeah, they could, I guess. Because uh, the girl that we rescued these fish from, she's looking for littler fish for her 75. And I told her I'd film and see if we had anything left. Right, some of the guppies, those nice little blue, that blue kind of a mosaic tail. All right. And she'd have unlimited little fish. A couple of nice females in there. That mm -hmm. one big one I was trying to catch for you that day. <laughs> right back there. All right. Yeah. 
So are these for, up for adoption then? What's that? These are up for adoption then? Yeah. Okay. And she might come get these then. Yeah, everything in there. Josh, yeah. Josh took the ones uh, I think I want to roll up. Oh, what are these little guys right here? They're all on the filter. Black? Yeah, they're black with like God, that, those white are tips. Okay. Need a light on it to see. I can do that. Ooh. Right. Oh man, it doesn't want to Yeah, there's there. a platy right next to him all, to a guppy. The one with the gold nose right. is a platy. Yeah. Ooh, that light is blinding. Yeah, another one down there. Yeah, a little they bit. were up here. Yeah, well, there's still one right on top right there. Or maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah they are right. very, very obvious there, though. That orange one, she's breaking. Cool. All right, Pamela. You see what's here. <laughs> come get come get them. Jerry needs another empty tank. Kind are they called again? Black Moor. Black Moor. With a little white on his tail. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And how cute. Yeah. She is blue bucket. You wanna shine the light down here? Hey what? that she had. Well, those are nice. Mm -hmm. but yeah, put them in with our little fancy goldfish. That one already went on hiding. Mm -hmm. Fine trying to catch a buckle. Yeah. <laughs> they like jumping. You get that one, no problem. Number two. And number three. Hey everybody! That's everybody. Nobody home. And she got some uh, red parrots, but they're small yet. So when they do get this size, she'll give us a call. And again, we got these guys. Hmm? <laughs> All right. All right. I'm gonna go up and talk to Rich real quick. He needed to talk real quick. We got a couple rescues. He said, and uh, we'll finish this up at home. All right, so that was a quaint little, nice little pickup, and hopefully she comes by and grabs the rest of those little community fish. <clears throat> that way we got an empty tank, and uh, but pretty goldfish. So uh, Jim and I, we uh, did good, and I did talk to Rich. We do got, uh, there is a big tank. Uh, it's 10 foot by 3 foot by 3 foot, possibly some fish, so forth. That's down in Columbus. And then uh, we got a 125 gallon, a 300 stock, and a red tail, and possibly some other fish. I'm waiting to hear from him. There's my frog. You don't see him often, but he's still in there and doing good. So uh, we'll, I'm, I actually called, and I'm just waiting to hear from him so we can set that one up. 
In the meantime, you guys hit that like, subscribe, and share, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.